Good afternoon guys. I'm sorry it's been so long since I did a video. Been real busy here. Of course the bills come every month so we decided for me to get a part-time job and so I got a part-time job at one of the big franchises. It's you know like Kmart, Target, Walmart, one of those as a uh, unloader just grunt work in the morning to unload the trucks and uh, that turned into a full-time job because they don't have very many people that will actually work. And so now I'm working 32 to 40 hours a week, and so doing that with a farm, it is tough. But I wanted to do an update on everything for you so you can see everything. I was going to start with a garden. It has been rough this year. We had so much rain, and then uh, just the weeds just took over. Um, but we did do pretty good. These plants, I'm not sure. I'm going to put more fertilizer on them. I'm not sure why they didn't do good, but these up here did better. And all I'm doing on this is weed eating is... Uh, we found out the tiller was doing more damage. It was giving them more the weeds in between the paths. That's why I did such far rows. I was going to till it. And uh, every time I tilled it, the grass would come back stronger. And so uh, weed eating is the way that I've chose to go. Uh, these are all uh, hot peppers, bell peppers on that one, uh, banana peppers on this one, tomatoes on this one. And, my, and you would have known it three or four days ago because all this looked like this. I had to get a weed eater in there and find them. But my okra are doing good. Um, and we've never done okra before. If you see that white stuff on it, we powdered it with um, seven dust to make sure that the, the bugs weren't killing everything. But there's a there's an okra I need to pick off. But I was excited. There's another one, actually. They're going fast. Because um, these were all alive inside there. Uh, the other thing we had fun with this year is cabbages. We've already picked two and ate two. Uh, but I'd never done cabbages before. And so we have really... That's something we're going to do more next year. And as I've told you in previous videos, I'm not a gardener. And so this has been like a exploratory year uh, to, to see how to do it. Oh, the fence. You never saw the fence before either. Uh, I have to finish this far side over here, but we put four, four foot chain link around it. Oh, sorry if I'm making a mistake. Four foot chain link. And when I go back out of the pen, I'll uh, zoom out so you can see it. But this is what the garden looked over here. Over here in this corner, we did... Um, um, potatoes <laughs> and I gotta find them because I can't find them now uh, <laughs> so that that's they're there somewhere but like I said gardeners not number one num I'm learning but it's I have a lot to learn um, let's see what's over on this side oh uh, cucumbers are over here I promise I'll show you the animals so the ones that are at this point are going come on now we don't care about this. Show me the animals. I know, but there's a couple people out there that like the garden. All right, cucumbers, and I almost let them die. My wife was very mad at me. But like I said, I'm not prioritizing it the way she wants me to. <laughs> uh, um, but this fence is up now. It goes all the way around. Um, it's a rabbit-proof fence, and that way I can keep the rabbits out of here. And I got a couple places that I left a little hole with a blocker on it. So this winter, I'm going to plant something and... Be able to snare rabbits because we have tons of rabbits um, this fence that went across here will eventually it was a six foot fence it looked like we were in prison will be taken down and replaced by a four foot more decorative slash sheep and goat proof fence um, that I don't have to worry about I'm not gonna walk out there because it would just take too much time but where that pasture across there um, is a Bermuda um, and so when he cut it he knows me and I said hey how much for 10 bells? And so that's good big old 5 by 6 Bermuda bells. Um, so I got 10 of those, and that'll be the cream of the crop. And then I got the hay from the other side of the house when they cut it because it's just more of a, a grass mix. And they eat about half. This they'll eat about 80 to 90% of, and the other hay they'll eat about 50 to 60% of. But I use that other hay in the winter so they can lay on it too when it gets, starts getting cold and getting snowy. Um, four of these trees made it. This one here actually already has some apples on it this year. Um, and as you can see by the grass, there's no way they can keep up with this grass. I have 30 head of mama ewes out here, about 10 babies right now, and a ram. And there's no way uh, they can keep up with it. Uh, I have four acres here. The house is on probably close to one, and then three here, and then I lease four acres on the other side of those woods out there. I'll do a video of that sometime. I just can't do it right now because of the time. Um, but let's go this way. Got a pool for the kids. 
and it's been really nice. It's uh got this one at Target for $3.99 and it has been a good quality pool. They come a long ways. Um, it's a 16 foot by four foot deep and kids can get in there and play and I can get in there and cool off and so that's eventually hopefully the next project or two will be a, a deck coming off the porch um, that stops where the pool is eventually with like a bigger pool um, and then you'll go off that side of the house and there'll be a fire pit where you can hang out around a fire pit over there um, but right now it's just a bunch of grass I got to mow and weed eat like I said before with a job it is hard to get it all done plus all the critters all right let me get in the backyard don't let me make you sick Okay, now this, y'all remember this box? And of course this is a chicken pen here. They have two, I'm gonna kinda, for those that haven't heard all the videos before, I'm gonna kinda, some of y'all already know this. But this is the chicken coop. It's two uh, 16 by uh, 20, I think, pens. So that's 16 by 40 pens that they have. This was my uh, winter house, still my winter house. It's worked out fine, I should have left more of it an eave on it it's there's it's getting wet on the inside but it serves its purpose now what i didn't know it do is settle uh on this corner here and so it fills up with water so i gotta bring it up and bring some dirt in to level it but um you can see in here i got two hens in there the brown ones setting on uh turkey eggs the white ones certain on sitting on chicken eggs but this is really too hot for anything now so they just go in there if they want to the door stays open the young ones roost in there uh, and I'll show you where the chickens really hang out now. Let's go look at the sheep real quick. I'm trying to watch my time. Um, I more than likely will not do the rabbits on this video, but they'll be on one today. Also, I don't want to leave the rabbit people hanging. I know they get mad at me. Sheep, 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 sheep. Come on. Sheep, 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 sheep. They say it is hot. Sheep, 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 sheep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sheep, 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 Come on. I have Katahdins. Oh, be quiet. I have Katahdins and Dorpers, mainly Katahdins. Quit, quit. I'll show this one right here. See this one here? It got bit by a dog, and I saved it. They were going to kill it. And she's actually pregnant now, so she's going to have me some babies. But these are mainly Katahdin ewes that I picked through and kept. All these here, I got seven that I kept from the spring lambing, all the January lambing. Um, there's my registered Katahdin ram. Hey, big man. And he's worked out really nice. I was afraid the first time he had babies, they were all rams. He had like seven rams in a row. So I was scared he was just going to throw rams. But, uh, he's throwing ewes now, so I'm happy. Sheep, 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 sheep. Y'all coming? But, uh, here's some more Katahdins. There's that you had twins. The you next year had triplets, and I've already weaned them off. That's another young you coming. There's some more heavy bread. All these ewes had, oh, I got a limper. I got to do her foot. Um, but these ewes had babies in January, and they're already about to pop again. Uh, December, January, I'd have to look. Uh, but the reason why this one's about to pop is she had a single, and so she bred right back. Um, so that's that's good. These I'm going to get rid of. These are St. Croix, and I haven't liked them that much. Um, but I got them in a package to see how I'd like them. But that one, just because I haven't trimmed her foot with work, I, you got to keep on them. <laughs> Y'all are giving up on me that fast. Y'all are good for nothings. Y'all know that? I don't feed you and you walk away. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. This is Big Mama. This is one of my originals from the first videos. You watched the first videos. This one here and Hannah. Where's Hannah? Um, I don't see Hannah. But she's around here somewhere. There she is. She's laying down here trying to keep cool it's, it's about 98 degrees right now they are hot 